All right, here's our 2007 F250 four-wheel drive six liter. Uh, this truck has been studded and bulletproofed. Uh, we got, looks like a little uh, gas cap key, which I believe we removed. We've got regular key and one working key fob. All right, we'll go ahead and unlock it, show you the keypad works. Locks it just nice. And the key works the door as well. As you can see, we got some steering wheel damage here. Needs a cover or maybe we get it restitched. All right, I'll go ahead and buckle up, show you that this light goes off as well. Got no check engine lights, no warnings of any sort that in well it's kind of being a little silly you need to lube this up a little bit it's not one to clip i will take care of that for you don't worry about it all right our brights Not getting anything from the sprayer. Could be empty. Could just need a pump motor. No, it sounds good. More than likely empty or a broken line. Uh, here we'll test out uh, all the different blower speeds, make sure they're working properly. Got all the blower settings working. We'll take it to the floor. Switches over really quickly and nice up to defrost ice cold AC it's already cooling off for us rear power mirror or power windows working fine Really great looking leather in this truck. We'll get a better look at every seat. Really clean headliner. Looks nice. I'm not seeing anything falling, any major stains. We got one little stain right back there. Um, but other than that, it looks really, really nice. All the little lights work and everything. Radio's good. Um, there's our volume buttons on our steering wheel are working fine we'll go ahead and change the channel make sure that's working all right so we're all good there it does only like that one station i think we're missing an antenna we'll make sure that our steering wheel buttons for our ac controls are functioning there's our fan speed all the way down all the way back up and here's our temperature we're gonna go up and then back down this one has the factory integrated trailer brake module. Not getting the display, but it is functioning properly. Uh, no TBC faults or anything like that. Uh, this is where the dimmer switch would normally be. Uh, it is not there. The plug and everything's there, so all you need is the little switch. Um, and that may actually be for the pedals, I would assume. More than likely, it's gonna be the automatic pedal switch. Uh, here's our dimmer here. This is a fog light model. Things working properly. There we go. Left, right, down, and up. These are heated mirrors. Right, left, down, and up. This one is the uh, manual four wheel drive for the transfer case. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do a little test drive at the end of this video as well. Uh, and I'll, I'll run it through four wheel drive. Pretty decent looking leather. We got a couple little tears that need some attention. That one's just a stitching. Uh, but the leather looks really nice. It's got a good color to it.
see backs look gray. As you can see, that little panel, the clips are broken on it. Always a nice sign. Do got some carpet damage over here. Uh, we see this often, man. This back right corner of these F-250s, the carpet is kind of, I'm not sure exactly what causes this, but uh, we got a few trucks right now that have it. I don't think I worked that other one. We'll get back over there here in a minute. And every single, con uh, every seat control is working properly. Passenger seat looks amazing. Center console as well as the top of these. Uh, this one looks really good. Really clean dash. A couple different adhesives that were put up here. Those are still kind of lingering probably come right off All good here on the driver's side. Really great looking paint. Uh, we do have a couple dents here on the driver's side. I want to mention there's one right there, right above the F. Got another one here, right by the door jam or the door uh, handle here. I got this fascia's kind of uh, kind of come off the little clips in here. Uh, chances are it could probably be restretched or replaced. Fairly easy. Got some bubbling up here on the grill, uh, but overall the paint is immaculate. No fading and stuff like a lot of them front bumper looks pretty straight got a pretty good dent right here as well seeing a couple scuffs right here um, this stuff will buff off We'll have our guy look into it. If you're concerned about this, it feels like it's just surface. It's stuck on the surface, so it's not down in the paint or anything like that. It should just buff right off. couple little minor scratches and dents on this tailgate one up here a pretty good dent right here uh, and then some minor scratching bumpers a little bit it's 
kind of got a little bent shape to it, a little pressed in over here. Spotless looking roof. I seen any paint damage at all up here. Parking brake feels nice and firm. Didn't see a warning for it though. Like I said before, this is a studded bulletproof 6.0. excessive coolant pressure no pressure at all really absolutely no blow by as good as it gets looks like a fairly recent turbo to me that thing looks brand new uh, look at a lot of these trucks. This thing's ready to rock. Get y'all underneath it and we'll take it for a spin. It is equipped with a block heater as well. Rust free truck. Looks like some fresh wiring uh, hookups back here too. Good looking spare. This is where I see a lot of the rust on these trucks. This one has absolutely none. Looks really, really clean. Well, I got my plate, so we'll go put it on the road. I built our front windows met there at the same time. We'll check the back ones. They're right there with it. Gonna ride uh, no seatbelt, I guess, until we get that uh, all cleaned out. Cup holders, man, everything's there. They're gonna hold your dreams. All right. And anything I feel or hear or notice, man, I'll just kinda describe it in the video. We'll test the cruise control, everything like that. Nice and quiet so far. Got some construction right here, so if it, if it rattles or squeaks, man, we're about to know.
shifts super smooth, runs very, very smooth. Uh, sounds really good. Got no hazing or anything from the pipe. It's driving nice and straight. I'm not feeling, feeling any kind of uh, feedback through the wheel or anything like that. No rattling, no clunking. Exactly how it should be. there at operating temp everything's looking good here I'm about to hop on the highway uh, it's a little acceleration ramp we'll get up we'll probably do like 75% throttle I'll get up to about 75 miles an hour 80 miles an hour as long as we're we can do it safely all right I'm gonna go ahead and roll into it Building good boost, clean shift, a couple more. Like I said, it's got loads of power. It's not all chipped up. It's not a hot rod or anything like that. Man, super straight, it's vibration free. Go ahead, mess with this cruise control here. There, we're locked in. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up. All right, we'll slow it back down. So everything's functioning there. Yeah, as straight as can be. Got no play in the steering wheel or anything like that. Truck goes exactly where you want it to. We'll go ahead and get a little kick down. I mean, that's, uh, it drives nice and straight. So it's not all over the road or anything like that. Pretty narrow one. Uh, but we'll get it up here in the Mulligan's parking lot. Man, I'll throw it in four wheel drive and I'll pretty much wrap it all up. Get on the brakes kind of hard here. See what happens. Stops nice and straight. Not feeling any kind of warped rotors or anything of the sorts. No clunking there either. With all the cab mounts pretty good. There was a little thump, but could be that front cab mount. Kind of felt like it. One of the only things we find wrong with half these trucks. All right, we're locked in. Yeah. It could use a set of cab mounts here soon. Uh, they feel pretty deteriorated. Super common. Uh, there are still intact though, so 
usually they're just gone all together. All right, go ahead. We're just gonna take it back to four low. I can do it. All right. All right, there's high. There's four low. There we go. Ball kind of comes off. Not the best design board, but that's all right. We're in four low. Definitely in four low. What I do here is I just kind of power brake it, make sure the back tires don't spin, make sure everything's engaged, which it is. Kind of go lock to lock here. Make sure we don't hear any funny noises. Nothing but lock tubs, so always good. And then we do it kind of kind of a quicker pace here. There's four high, indicator changes, everything like that. as good as it gets. This is our 2007 F-250 Lariat Bulletproof.